Yo, what up guys? It's Scotty Rock here. I'm standing in front of my greenhouse and I got my uh, little fig trees of different varieties out in front of it. And uh, on the side, I got a cherry tree growing uh, from Home Depot. I bought it a week ago. And uh, so my peach trees two in there they're two different kinds and uh, I got my blueberry plants they got a lot of buds on them already so I'm very excited for them to sprout out because they look like they're gonna be popping this year with a lot of blueberries I had a lot of blueberries last year and the year before, so I'm very excited for this year. And this is kind of strange. I, uh, I packed these guys in here for the winter. I packed all the big ones up here, and down here is my fig coffin, and I stick all the little guys in there. It goes down about five feet down, four and a half feet down, and, um... And I put them under there for winter storage. But um, I got all my larger fig trees in here in the greenhouse. So March 16th. So uh, I don't know, it's about 59 degrees out here today. 58 degrees, which is really nice. And uh, and you can see all of them got green tips and they're just about to spread out leaves. I want to see how many is going to give me um, Breva. A couple of them did last year. So uh, I cut a lot of my trees in half by um, air layering. So to cut them down in size. So they're all kind of hacked at the tops, but they, they look like they're all coming back doing nice. You know, I cut that one off. It was a really big tree. And uh, next year is gonna be that guy in the back. That's a Atriano fig tree. It, it gave me three nice figs last year of uh, Breva. So I'm excited about that one, you know? What's this? This is, the pan is it a panache? So maybe a panache will give me. I I'm not sure. I'm not sure. These are white Marseilles. Right here. You know. Oh my, like, where, where's the, uh, the label on here? Oh, there's another white Marseille. Palette de Bordeaux. Okay. So, what's this guy? Oh, this is a purple variety. Pretty cool. What's this guy? Uh, this is LSU Scotts Black. So, there's a couple of varieties in here. Hopefully that they'll uh, they'll give me some Breva on my compost. Looking good. And even these guys out front. And this is something. This is a, um, a, go, a green Aishia right here. And what's so funny is I put it in the corner over there away from the fig trees. And uh, I hacked it off about in August and it grew there until the growing season was over in the corner in the shade and uh, it, look at that, it's all green I don't know how it survived even down here, it's all the way green and uh, <laughs> with no protection, it must have not have been a cold winter this year so we lucked out 
All right, guys. Oh, one more. This is another purple variety right here I have. And uh, it's in a pot. I didn't uh, secure this one in any shape during the winter. I just let it ride and they're all alive. Showing some good tips. Even this one that sticks out in the sun all the time. So, uh, very glad. This one gave me a lot of figs last year. It's a purple variety. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great season so far, getting ready. All right, guys, peace out.